Welcome to our Chinese Finance and Economy Briefing show. Today, we've got some spicy stories lined up for you. First off, the Hong Kong Examinations and Assessment Authority is taking a firm stand against exam content leaks by knocking on the police's door. It seems like the battle against social media leaks is heating up, with mainland China platforms being the stage this time. Moving on, the political barometer for the Taiwan Strait is showing stormy weather ahead in 2025, with a mainland China journal pointing out the risks of decoupling and major incidents. It seems the youth might have a card to play in this high-stakes game. And in the trade ring, China is throwing some heavy punches at the US with over 40% anti-dumping penalties on propionic acid imports. It's a tit-for-tat scenario as trade relations get a bit more acidic, if you will. Please stay tuned for the detailed content. In the bustling corridors of global politics and trade, the South China Morning Post has been at the forefront of reporting on the latest developments that shape our world. Among these, recent events in Hong Kong, the Taiwan Strait, and the ongoing trade tensions between the United States and China have captured the attention of many. In Hong Kong, the integrity of the educational system has come under scrutiny as the Hong Kong Examinations and Assessment Authority, HKEAA, finds itself grappling with the leakage of test content for the university entrance exams on mainland China's social media. This incident has not only raised questions about the security of examination materials but also about the broader implications for Hong Kong's educational standards and its relationship with the mainland. The HKEAA, in response, has taken a firm stance by pledging to file a police report and follow up strictly on cases where examination papers were posted on social media platforms. This decisive action reflects the authority's commitment to maintaining the sanctity of the examination process, even as it navigates the complexities of cross-border relations. Meanwhile, the Taiwan Strait, a perennial hotspot of geopolitical tension, is forecasted to witness a political tsunami in 2025, according to an article in the mainland China journal Cross-Taiwan Strait Studies. The piece sheds light on the escalating political risks between China and Taiwan, highlighting the potential for economic decoupling and major accidental incidents. The specter of Taiwan colluding with the US and Japan adds another layer of complexity to this already volatile situation. However, the article suggests a glimmer of hope in the form of Taiwan's newly elected president, William Lai, whose low-profile and moderate approach to cross-strait policies may offer a path to de-escalation. This nuanced analysis underscores the importance of understanding and empathy among young hearts on both sides of the strait in navigating these turbulent waters. On the trade front, the ongoing tensions between the United States and China have taken a new turn with China's imposition of anti-dumping penalties of over 40% on imports of propionic acid from the US. This move, seen as a retaliatory strike in the ever-intensifying trade war, highlights the growing causticity in bilateral relations. Propionic acid, a chemical used in a wide range of products from foods to pesticides, has become the latest battleground in a trade conflict that shows no signs of abating. The Chinese Ministry of Commerce's declaration that U.S. imports have harmed the domestic industry adds fuel to the fire, coming on the heels of the U.S. proposal to raise tariffs on Chinese steel and aluminium and a probe into China's maritime, logistics, and shipbuilding industries. This tit-for-tat escalation serves as a stark reminder of the complexities and challenges of global trade in an era of rising nationalism and protectionism. As these stories unfold, they provide a window into the intricate tapestry of international relations and commerce. From the examination halls of Hong Kong to the turbulent waters of the Taiwan Strait, and the negotiating tables of global trade, the South China Morning Post continues to offer insightful coverage on the issues that matter. These developments, while distinct, are interconnected threads in the broader narrative of our globalized world, where actions taken in one corner can reverberate across continents. As we navigate these complex dynamics, the importance of informed reporting and thoughtful analysis has never been more critical. In a world where technology and geopolitical tensions shape the landscape of global markets, China finds itself at a crossroads. According to Nikkei Asia, the once booming technology sector in China is now facing a period of stagnation, reminiscent of Japan's experience decades ago. The Chinese tech giants, once seen as the formidable challengers to Silicon Valley, are now lagging in the race, especially in the field of artificial intelligence, AI. The lack of access to advanced chips and the relatively smaller scale of operations are significant hurdles that these companies are struggling to overcome. Moreover, the innovation ecosystem in China has shifted from a market-led to a government-dominated model, with President Xi Jinping's policies creating an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty, stifling the growth and dynamism of the private sector. This shift has not only affected the tech industry's ability to innovate but has also impacted its competitiveness on the global stage, 
with leading Chinese companies falling behind their U.S. counterparts in terms of revenue and market capitalization. Adding to the challenges faced by China, the South China Morning Post reports a significant downturn in Hong Kong's stock market, attributed to escalating Middle East tensions following reports of Israeli missiles hitting Iran. This geopolitical unrest has sent investors scurrying for safer havens, causing the Hang Seng Index to tumble to a two-month low. Tech giants like Alibaba experienced a 1.9% drop, while other sectors, including casinos and food chains, also saw significant declines. The oil market, however, responded differently, with prices surging past $90 per barrel, benefiting upstream oil companies and gold producers. Amidst these fluctuations, the electric vehicle EV, sector faced its own turmoil, with Li Auto's shares plummeting by 7.4% due to intensifying competition, further underscoring the challenges within China's tech and broader economic landscape. In a surprising turn, the South China Morning Post also reveals a very rare pay rise for Chinese diplomats working abroad, an increase of over $1,000 per month. This adjustment, applied across all levels of officials in Chinese embassies and consulates worldwide, is seen as a move to stabilize the diplomatic corps following the abrupt departure of former Foreign Minister Qin Gang. The pay rise is a rare glimpse into the Chinese government's internal policies, which are often shrouded in secrecy. Diplomats, known to earn more than their domestic counterparts, play a crucial role in navigating China's complex relationships on the global stage, especially at a time when the country faces significant challenges both internally and internationally. These developments paint a picture of a China grappling with internal challenges and external pressures. From the stagnation in its technology sector to the volatility in its stock market and the strategic adjustments within its diplomatic core, China is navigating a period of uncertainty and change. The country's ability to adapt to these challenges, foster innovation, and maintain its competitiveness on the global stage will be critical in determining its future trajectory. As China contends with these multifaceted issues, the world watches closely, anticipating the implications for global markets, international relations, and the balance of power in the technology sector. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.